The global AI race for supremacy has started, but how can we profit in a diversified way? In this video lecture, I'll answer this with exact details giving out the four biggest ETFs in the AI space. As always, always set with educational purposes and is not meant to be taken as financial advice. The global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF, with a ticker BOTZ, was created in 2016 and it invests in companies that could benefit from increased use of robotics and AI. These include enterprises involved in industrial robotics, automation, non-industrial robots and autonomous vehicles. BOTZ holds 37 stocks with its top 5 holdings, accounting for approximately 40% of its assets, these include Upstart Holdings, NVIDIA, Intuitive Surgical, Kenyans and ABB. The ETF has outperformed the S&P 500 and is better suited for growth-oriented investments with a slightly higher expense ratio. Over the past 5 years, this ETF has managed to beat the S&P 500 index with about a 40% return. Its top 5 holdings, which again account for about 40% of the fund's assets, are again Upstart Holdings, which operates a cloud-based AI lending platform, connecting banks and other lenders with borrowers, NVIDIA, which is a semiconductor maker whose chips are used in a wide variety of applications, including autonomous vehicles, virtual computing and cryptocurrency mining, and are central to many AI technologies. Intuitive Surgical, the maker of the Da Vinci robotic surgical system, which allows for minimally invasive surgeries with precise control. Kenyans is a Japanese company that makes factory automation products such as sensors and scanners. And finally ABB which is a Swiss maker of industrial automation and robotics products for use in utilities and infrastructure. The next ETF is the Robo Global Robotics and Automation Index ETF which focuses on companies driving advancements in AI, robotics and automation. It holds 83 stocks with its top 5 holdings, making up 9% of the total value. The ETF has matched the return of the S&P 500 since its inception in 2013 and it offers a modest dividend yield with a slightly higher expense ratio. The higher expense ratio, although, is not justified as the performance against the S&P 500 index is not that great as we can see on the following more than a 5 year long chart. The top 5 stocks are iRhythm Technologies, a digital healthcare company, focusing on cardiac monitoring, Brooks Automation, a manufacturing automation company, that provides a range of services for semiconductors and life science companies. Stratasys, a maker of 3D printing systems, then comes again Intuitive Surgical. Intuitive Surgical is an American corporation that develops, manufactures and markets robotic products designed to improve clinical outcomes for patients through minimally invasive surgeries, most notably with the Da Vinci Surgical System, the company is part of the NASDAQ 100 and S&P 500. On spot number 5 comes Cardex Holding, a Swiss logistics company that provides automated storage solutions. The second top ETF is the iShares Robotic and Artificial Intelligence ETF. It aims to track the performance of companies that could benefit from the long-term opportunities in robotics and AI. The ETF was formed in 2018 and has a well-diversified portfolio of 104 stocks, many of which are in fast-growing small-cap companies. Its top 5 holdings account for only 6% of its assets and include companies like Ambarella, Nemeshek, HubSpot, 
AI Chip Technologies and Splunk. IRBO has outperformed the S&P 500 and has a competitive expense ratio and a healthy dividend yield. The ETF's performance against the S&P 500 is as follows. The ETF is up 86% while the S&P 500 is up by 58%. The top 5 investments, which account for around 6% of IRBO's assets, are Umbrella, a semiconductor company that designs video components that go on chips. Nemeshek, a Germany-based software company, servicing the architecture, engineering, construction and media and entertainment industries. HubSpot, a provider of cloud-based computer relationship management software. AI Chip Technologies, a Taiwanese semiconductor company that specializes in design and manufacturing. And on spot number 5 comes Splunk, another cloud stock that uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to improve its data platform. The first Trust Nasdaq Artificial Intelligence and Robotics ETF tracks the Nasdaq CTA Artificial and Robotics Index, which includes companies involved in the AI and robotics tech industry. The ETF was established again in 2018 and saw an increase in value during the pandemic, thanks in part to tech stocks making up 60% of its holdings. It owns 108 stocks and has a slightly higher expense ratio. Yet again, this ETF is not justified when it comes to the higher expense ratio, as the performance is not very substantial in relation to the S&P 500 index. The top 5 stocks of this fund are the following. Umbrella, Gentex Corporation, a maker of automated and non-automated auto parts. Dynatrace, a provider of a software intelligence platform that monitors IT performances. Elbit Systems, an Israeli-based maker of products for defense, homeland security and commercial aviation operations. Cadence Design Systems, a designer of software and hardware building blocks for a wide range of products, is the fifth top stock. As a final conclusion, I want to say that no matter if we invest in an ETF or not, risks are always prevalent. If I had to choose one of these four ETFs, I would choose the Global X Robotics and Artificial ETF BOTZ, as the performance is the best and this ETF has the longest history, which showcases a higher level of certainty and security. Also, the expense ratio is a bit lower. With this, I end the video, so please like if you learned something new to help it reach more people. As always, subscribe to the channel and if you have not, make sure to watch my other analysis videos on the channel. Goodbye for now and I'll see you in the following video.